hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we are going to be recreating this style a client requested for it and i decided to film the process for you guys if you're yet to subscribe kindly do that and let's get right into the video for this project i'll be working with four yards of ankara prints so guys we'll be cutting out the front i folded my fabric into two to know the amount of fabric to fold is your round lap measurement divided by two plus extra two inches so i have my round lap measurement that's my tie measurement divided by two plus two inches so this will serve as my waistline so from the waist i'll come down to the hip line so the hip line is 10 inches so i'll chalk 10 inches and connect it into a straight line so guys, the next line is the crotch line. To get your crotch line, your hip divided by 4 plus 1 inch. So the hip I'm working with is 44. Divided by 4 is 11 plus 1 inch, which will give me a total of 12 inches. So for the crotch, I'm using 12 inches. From the waist, I'm just going to come down to 12 inches. After chucking 12 inches, I'll go ahead now to connect it into a straight line. So guys, the next line is the knee line. So from your waist to your knee. So from the waist to the knee is 19 inches. I'm just going to chop 19 inches and then connect it into a straight line. Then the next line is the length of the pant. So the length, I'm going to be making use of the full length of the Ankara. So as you can see, I have my waistline, my hip line, my crotch line, my knee line, and then my trouser length. What I'll be doing next is at the hip line, I'll place my hip measurements divided by four and also add one inch for sewing allowance. So your hip divided by four plus one inch for sewing allowance. Go ahead, chuck it down there. So what I'll do is connect to the waistline. So from that point, I connected it up to the waistline. What I'll be doing next is at the crotch line, I'll be placing my round tie measurement divided by two. So the round tie I'm working with is 26 inches divided by 2 will give me 13. So I'll go ahead now to place 13 inches at that point and then add extra 1 inch for my sewing allowance. So what I'll do next is to curve in the crotch. So I'll use my curve ruler to do that. You can use your free hand, anyone that works for you. So I'll just connect the points. After curving in the crotch, I'll go ahead now to blend it using my free hand. So what I'll do next is on the waistline, I'll place my waist measurement divided by 4. So the waist I'm working with divided by 4 will give me 8 inches. I'm not adding that to mine. So I'm just going to be adding extra 1 inch for sewing allowance, which is 9. So from that point, I'll just connect it to the crotch line. So I'll use my curve ruler to do that. So go ahead, connect all the way down to the crotch. Then what I'll do next is, I don't want this pant to be palazzo, that's free. But if you want it very free, what you do is from this crotch line, just go all the way down, just connect it all the way down. But I want mine fitted a bit. So what I'll do is just check what I have on that crotch line. So I'll go ahead now to check what I have from this point all the way down here. So I'll place my tape and check. I have like 15 inches thereabouts. I'll divide it into two, which will give me 7.5. Then I'm just going to chalk that 7.5 on the knee line. After chalking the 7.5, I'll take my round knee measurement divided by two. The round knee is 22 inches divided by two is 11. So you have to share 11 inches on both points. So what I'm going to do is to share the 11 inches on both points, but I don't want it too fitted, like I said. So I'm not going to be chalking 5.5. I'm going to be adding some extra inches to it. So I'll be using 6.5 here and also 6.5 at this other point because I don't want it too fitted. But if you want it too fitted, go ahead to use your round knee divided by 2, whatever you have, share it among the lines. So I'll go ahead now to connect from the crotch to the knee line then from this other point to the knee line as well so from this point i'll just go straight down and also go straight down at this point so guys from this point i'll come down by one inch so i'll just come down by one inch and then connect from this point all the way down to that one inches line 
So guys, we are good to go with the front. I'll go ahead now to cut out the front. So guys, after cutting out the front, we'll be cutting the back. For the back, I folded my fabric into two. Now, to know the amount of fabric to fold, whatever you fold for the front, just add three inches to it. So that's what I have here. So I'm just going to place my front on the back. So guys, after placing my front on the back, all my allowance will be taken on this side of the fabric. So at the waistline, I'm going to be chalking two inches for my allowance. So I place my tape and chalk 2 inches. At the hip line as well, I'm going to be using 2 inches. On the crotch line, I'm going to be using 2 inches, but for a medium and a larger butt, you could use 2.5. So I chalk 2 inches. Then at the knee line, I'm going to be chalking 1.5. So I'll go 1.5 all the way down. So guys, after doing that, I'll be connecting my lines. So I'll go ahead now to connect my line. Then at the crotch line, I'm just going to connect the crotch curve and then blend it with my free hand. Then what I'll do is just go straight down. So guys, if you've watched the video to this point and you're yet to subscribe to the channel, kindly do that and let's get right back. So guys, at the waistline of the back, I'm going to be coming up by 1.5. You know, we took one inches from the front, but from the back, you're going to be adding extra 1.5 to it. So at this point, I'll just come up by 1.5. So I placed my tape and chalk 1.5. Then I connected the lines together. So from that point, I'll just blend it all the way down to this waistline. Hope you understand. If you do not understand what I just did, just rewind the video and you will get it. So guys, this is what the back looks like. We're good to go. I'll go ahead now to cut out the back. So guys, after cutting out my fabric, as you can see, I have two pieces for both the front and the back. So what we'll be doing next is joining. So what I do is join one side of the front to the back and one side of the back to the front. So I'm just going to place the back this way and then place the front on the back. So you place them right side facing each other. Then after placing them together, I'm going to be stitching using half inch all the way down so i'll do the same thing for this other side as well so guys after stitching i'm going to place them together this way right side facing each other then at this side of the front i will stitch half inch all the way down to the crotch line so guys after stitching all the way down to the crotch this is what it looks like so i'm going to flip it this way so guys from the waist i'm just going to chop my hip line so from the waist, I chalked my hip line, as you can see. So guys, what I'll do next is take my measurement. So from after this point that I stitch, I'm just going to place my tape and chalk my waist measurement divided by 2. So my waist divided by 2, I chalked it down. Then at the hip line, I'm going to place my tape as well and take my hip measurement divided by 2. So I'll just take my hip measurement divided by 2, then chalk it down there as well. So what I'll do is use my chalk to just connect the lines together. So guys, after connecting from the waist to the hip, around that crotch line, I'll just go half inch all the way down. Then I'll go ahead now to stitch. After stitching, we're going to be joining the flap together. So I'll place them together this way. Make sure the lines are matching. Then I'll be stitching using half inch all the way down. So I'll go ahead now to stitch. So guys, after stitching, this is what it looks like, as you can see. So what we'll be doing next is cutting out our band. So you have to determine where you want the zip to be. For me, I want the zip to be at the back side. So I'm just going to open it up, which I've already done. So what I'll be doing next is taking my tape and checking what I have all around the waist. So after checking what I have all around my waist, I'll go ahead now to cut out my band. So guys, I've already cut out my band as you can see. In case you have paper stay, you can add it to yours. I don't have at the moment. So what I have here is 5 inches. So on fold, it's going to be 2.5. I'll be using half inch to stitch and my band will be 2 inches. So what I'll do is place my band and then run a stitch all around. 
so guys after stitching this is what it looks like what i'll be doing next is attaching my zipper to it and we are good to go with the pants so guys for the front part i folded my fabric into two i chopped two inches for my zip allowance i'll be adding zip to the back but in case you don't want zip to yours you can just fold your fabric and cut the same thing for both the front and the back so guys i have my starting point i chopped my shoulder divided by two i came down to the chest line to my top length and i also added two inches for my sewing allowance at the neck i'm going to be using three and a half by three inches which I chalked and curved for the front. Then I came down by one inch for my shoulder slope and then curved in my armhole. So guys, at the chest line, I'll place my bust measurement divided by four and also add two inches sewing allowance. At the top length, I'm going to be placing my waist measurement divided by four. I want it a bit free at that waist area. So I'll be adding some inches to it. So from that point, I'm going to chalk my waist divided by Four, which gave me eight and a half. I added extra one inch to it, and I'll be adding extra two inches for sewing allowance. So I went ahead to connect my lines. So, guys, I'll go ahead now to cut out the front. So, for the back neckline, I'm going to be using two inches for the back neckline. So, I'll just take out the front neckline and then cut out the back neckline. So guys, we're good to go. I'll go ahead now to fold my fabric and cut out facing for it. You can choose to use a bias if you want. So I'll cut the facing for both the front and the back. I'll place them right side facing each other, then stitch and turn. So guys, for the sleeve, I folded my fabric into two, chalked the starting point, and then chalked the length of the sleeve, curved my armhole, and then took my sleeve measurement, and I'll be cutting it out. I'm going to cut the second sleeve. After cutting, I'll make sure to notch. So guys, after attaching my facing to the front and the back, I'll place them together and stitch the shoulder using half inch. After stitching, this is what it looks like. We'll be attaching the sleeve to it. I folded the down part of the sleeve as you can see. So what I'll do is open up my fabric and then place my sleeve on the shoulder area. Then stitch using half inch all the way down to the armhole. Then do the same thing at this other sleeve as well so after stitching i'll be shaping the dress after shaping this is what it looks like i'll go ahead now to open up my zipper allowance and attach my zip to it and then fold it down part we are good to go so guys this is the final result i'm sorry i wasn't able to fit this dress it's for a client and also it's too small for my mannequin so this is what it looks like you can check some of my previous videos on how to make pan trouser you see how it fits perfectly hope this tutorial was helpful please do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video drop a comment and i'll definitely see you guys in my next class for now bye